this should be automatically set up uh, debug port 9000 uh, show super globals and variable view yeah that's all good that's all good now uh, next one the most important one the one that a lot of people probably forget is the PHP executable you have to set that up that one up and uh, I've already set that up but normally you add right and you give it any name doesn't matter Exa, right? Executable path. So that would be you'd have to select your executable path. I'm going to show you, let's say, for example, where mine would be. I'm going to go to here to my main. Okay. And then WAMP, right? And then usually it'll be in the binaries PHP php name and this is you're going to be your php executable path and that's the file that you're looking for the cgi.exe file and then you hit open and then you'd have the executable path uh, the php ini file is optional but you know where that one is now because you remember that from uh, reading the uh, looking at the uh, php info remember if you scroll to the top here Remember, you just copy this uh, path and paste it into there. And of course, you're going to have to set that one and uh, set this to uh, CGI. It's using the CGI, PHP CGI to the .exe file. And then you hit finish. I won't because I've already set that up, right? Okay, and okay, and you have to make sure it's there. And you set everything up, and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. And the only thing I would do now is um, restart Eclipse, and then the next step will be to use the uh, debugger on a short bit of uh, code just to make sure it's working. Okay, one more thing that I just noticed as well that I've forgotten earlier is uh, in the PHP I info function file, you can, uh, if you scroll down and uh, you can also tell in your PHP info file if your xdebug is properly set up you're going to have a fairly lengthy uh, uh, section here on it and it will tell you the version and whatever, whatever else dumps and cookies and the output name how to start and everything else the parameters so if this is not here then there's a high chance that you didn't do something right in the setup so you'll have to go back and try to get working get it working so primarily the list line and then that section down at, down at the bottom. Okay, now to Eclipse. Okay, um, pretty straightforward. I just created a little PHP program. It's a, basically it's a multi-dimensional arrays with four keys. So it's a two-dimensional array called user list with um, with four users: John, Jane, Jill, and Bill. And the thing is, what is this supposed to do? Is supposed to output it into a table with uh, table data, table rows, and uh, to do that you have a, I have a uh, nested for each statement, and at the bottom here I just created a, a, a static HTML, which gives you a rough idea how it's supposed to look at the end. But this is static, obviously, and this is going to be dynamic. Okay, so um, to run the debugger, okay, is uh, basically here, is that little bug, right? And uh, I'm going to just uh, debug as a PHP script. First, it's going to ask me if uh, it's okay for to run the debug perspective, which is just it rearranges the windows a little bit; they'll look a little bit different, and uh, so that you can have them, uh, so you can get uh, all the information from the debugger. When I see it, yes, you can remember my decision if you don't want this pop up. Okay. Alright, uh, another thing I had also set to start uh, on the first line. So, window preferences. Uh, what was it now? Debug. Oh. Break at the first line. That's what I had set up as well. You can take that off as well. You can set breakpoints as well. You can still set breakpoints if you need to do this. But when it starts, it's 
starts at the first line and then you can tell it to resume from there to go to your first breakpoint that you set. All right. Okay, I'm not going to set breakpoints. This is another tutorial some some other time. Okay. Uh, step into. Mm -hmm. So we just pull in this array. So we're just going to look at this here. Uh, okay. Now you can see that the, the, these arrays, the user list, it pulled it in already. So you can just uh, view these. Uh, um, um, the keys, right? The keys to the array, and these are the values, right? So this is a multi-dimensional multi um, array user list, which has four keys, and their keys, their values, are four more arrays. Okay, but here it already shows you exactly. You know, it's it's very very handy. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay. Now we just passed by another another variable. It was output, right? It's called output. Well, let's have a look. Let's see. Output. There it is. Okay. Um, it says that the output is uh, it's been initialized, right? It's been initialized. It exists now in the, in the memory, and it has a length of zero. And that's what exactly what it has. It's an empty string. Okay. And as a matter of fact, just so we can uh, play with this uh, thing a little bit, we can right-click, and we can put it as watch. So, it seems like it's there twice. So we'll remove one version of it. So, now what we're going to do is watch that variable. We put it in the watch list. So this is expression, so watch list. And we can see, as we're stepping into it, watch the variable grow. Because this is, this is a... Uh, variable empty string and each time the for each runs it's going to add uh, a little bit more of that array into it so it can output into the into the tables right so we can just basically watch it and we can see if there's a mistake or uh, you know it's very very handy that way so we're just going to watch it and it's just going to keep going and going and going and of course in the meantime of course we can watch the other variables as well Mm -hmm. Gives you the length, right? It has, it has seven letters, right? Uh, seven characters, and it even shows you the seven spots in memory. Like a string is seven characters in a row, right? And it even shows you the spots in memory. And um, it's really very handy, this uh, debugger. Anyway, so just to let it run out, uh, just to give you a quick. Uh, idea of course you can set breakpoints like it says there's a breakpoint set at line 25 oh this is a different file oh, sorry that that's should we just cancel that? that's a different file but anyway uh, it just gives you you can really track your variables as they're being filled and it's very very handy to see if there's a mistake or how that works and you can also learn a lot from a debugger how PHP works and uh, let's see what else can I get into. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna run it to the end. Now. So anyway, once it's run, run the whole all the cycle through. It gives you an output of how it looks, right? I'm gonna put this over a little bit. You can see th there's the tables and the rows, and it, of course the browser output is here, right? So that's basically that array run through those two nested for each statements comes out like this and that was just that HTML block which I had down here so this HTML block just to give you a, a rough idea how approximately it should look static and this is the dynamic dynamic version pulled in from that user list uh, two-dimensional array okay and it, it's really handy with the debugger okay um that's about it i can't think of anything else and uh i hope uh, this was uh, useful for you i'm going to put my uh, website at the end visualmagic.com and you can then pick up this i'm going to pop back to the other perspective and you can pick up this uh, instruction sheet so you can take your time and work your way through it and uh, hopefully it will work for you. You can leave me a question either on my blog or on that uh, on the uh, comment section on the YouTube. Okay, thanks. Bye.